Let's look at these four intervals from A to B. The difference between these four intervals is in whether they include or exclude the left or right endpoint. The first, the, the topmost interval over here excludes both A and B from it. So we denote it as A comma B with round brackets on both sides. So this is nothing but the set of all numbers which lie between A and B excluding the two endpoints A and B. The second interval here includes the left endpoint A but excludes the right endpoint B. So we write it as A comma B with a square bracket on the left endpoint and a round bracket at the right endpoint. So this is nothing but the set of all numbers which are greater than or equal to A and less than B. So these numbers can include A but they have to be less than B, they can't be equal to B. The third interval here includes the right endpoint but excludes the left endpoint. So we denote it as A comma B with a round bracket on the left endpoint to, to indicate that it's excluded and a square bracket on the right side to in indicate that the right endpoint is included. So this is the set of points X such that X is greater than A and less than or equal to B. And finally, the fourth interval is denoted as A comma B with square brackets on both sides to indicate that both endpoints are included. So this is the set of all numbers X such that X is greater than or equal to A and less than or equal to B. By convention, this is known as a closed interval because it includes both the endpoints and this is called as an open interval from A to B because it excludes both the endpoints. This is called a left closed right open interval and this is called a left open right closed interval. But regardless of whether the interval is open closed, left open right closed or left closed right open, the length of the interval is given by the difference between the numbers B and A. So the length of all four of these intervals is B minus A.